you know, the, the, the opponents of the so-called Northern Pass Project, um, you know, the opponents of the so-called Northern Pass Project to run the high-powered, um, very tall transmission lines through the North Country, through New Hampshire and on to the New England power grid, are a very potent political force, um, particularly up in the North Country, but even in the central part of the state. Um, but as we've seen in the legislature this year, they're not getting a lot of love. Um, the legislature in both the House and the Senate has been unwilling to support any kind of moratorium on Northern Pass or any attempts to restrict um, the Northern Pass project from going forward. That doesn't mean Northern Pass is on Easy Street. Um, Public Service Company in New Hampshire and its parent Northeast Utilities have been working on an alternative route, which we should be seeing in the coming weeks. Um, which, in all likelihood, is going to try and use some of the state of New Hampshire right away for its alignment. That could certainly increase the prospects of future support for Northern Pass. The reason is, once you use the right of way, you got to pay for it. So that means Northern Pass could prevent, provide a significant sum of revenue for the state every year. I think the concern always been about Northern Pass is, one, we're a net exporter of power in New Hampshire, meaning we don't need this project for electricity here in this state. Two, is the presumption always has been, and the parent company has made it clear, that this power is going on to the New England power grid. So even though it's cheaper power, hydropower from Quebec, we're not going to get to use that power. That's one of the things Governor Hassan has said she'd really like to see from this project before she can support it. It's some kind of commitment for the state of New Hampshire to have a right to purchase some of that power. But even if that doesn't arrive, if you give the state some revenue for um, using their right of way, that certainly could increase political support for this project.